Hello, this is Sean Kelly at the Midnight Madness World Carpet for the world premiere of the Indian martial arts film, Kill. What were, what, what were your inspirations for such a uh, brutal film? <laughs> uh, it comes from uh, so one personal experience, which was years back. I was traveling in a train where it got robbed by some decoits. So that was the germ actually which, which came in. And then later, uh, thanks to COVID, when I was in lockdown, uh, there was a lot of claustrophobia and insecurity. So I, I thought I would pen it down, put it down on paper, and that's 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 the mixture of both. Actually. So um, a lot of a lot of the violence in the film is actually quite hard to watch at times. So uh, what what are your what do you want audiences to take away from Kill? So see that. The entire action sequence is uh, its motivated by emotion. Now that you've seen the film, so you know what happens. Yeah. And the the rage, the guilt, the grief of the protagonist is just coming out in proportions. And um, I, I feel that that thing which comes out is getting translated down in that in that kind of a gore and i wanted the audience to believe that something like this can happen and it's as dangerous as that and as it's all real the, the the danger is clear and present that's what i wanted to communicate and that's the reason why there's so much of uh, gore and blood uh, which is in fact that you know if you if, if you see the film the blood the flow of blood gradually increases towards the end. Yes. It, it's not like in the first kill, the blood is splashing all over. No. It's gradual. And that gradual is its because of the fact that uh, blood symbolizes uh, ambition and sacrifice. You know, that's, that's how that is coming, that, that's how that is flowing. So, yeah. yeah. Great, thanks. Mm -hmm. Talk about uh, your character in the film a bit. Uh, so my character, I'm playing a commando in the film. It's, uh, I'm an NSG commando. NSG is supposed to be the, the most elite force of India. Like anything that happens, any terrorist attack or any hijacking that happens. So NSG is called for that. The last resort is NSG. So I'm playing a character of a NSG commando in the film. And he's somebody who's like, who's, who's in love with this girl called Tolika, whose best friend is Abhishek. Uh, uh, the actor's name is Abhishek. His character's name is, uh, I call him Vire in the film. It's called Viresh. So Viresh stands for brother. So he's like my brother in the film. And he's somebody who's uh, madly in love with this girl, who stands up for what is right. And, uh, you know, he just believes in his heart. And he's a, he's a go-getter, like, mm -hmm. that's how he is. And he doesn't think twice before, uh, you know, just, just doing something that he believes in. So he's, he's one of those guys. Very similar to what Lux is like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, your character's kind of like, Bruce Willis and Die Hard of it, you're like in the wrong place at the wrong time and then you, you use your skills to fight back. So could you talk about uh, pretty much when your character kind of snaps? Yeah. So, as of course, like as you mentioned that you, you saw the film, it's not like he's born, he's a, he's a born killer. He's a commando, so he's not supposed to kill people. He's supposed to defend them, he's supposed to save them. The, the reason he starts killing people is, is because of what he, he goes through in the film. Yeah. Uh, if that wouldn't have happened, he wouldn't have killed people at all. So <laughs> blame it on the villain of the film. He did what he did, and because of that, I did what I did. Yeah, so yeah, that's actually a good point because when the title card appears, yeah. all hell breaks loose. Okay, thanks. Could you could you could you talk about the character a bit? Ah, uh, the character is uh, really playful. The character is really uh, ambitious. I think he's over ambitious. He wants to grow, uh, and he wants to make, uh, really. Um, I don't want, I can't tell you a lot about it because I don't want people to know yeah. a lot. But yeah, he's ambitious, he's playful, and he has uh, he has he has character in him, which like yeah. Part of the motivation is that like he he's always in conflict with his father, yeah, and like yeah. how he wants to like yeah, so do his own thing, but but his father says no, do this, yeah, do this. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, I think yeah. I, I want uh, I want my father to understand that you know it's time to grow and it's time to grow the business and it's time to just uh, leave everything on me. So yeah, I, I, all funny obviously the character. He's as I, as I told you that he is over ambitious and he really 
uh, believes in him, which I don't know if uh, that comes true or not. Let's see. Well, he's, he's very ambitious, but he's also very hateable. He's very hateable. He's so hateable that he's lovable. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>Having this genre with so many incredible films that exist that we could sort of borrow from and take from and lean into these cliches, it felt like a little bit of a safety net for us to like Definitely. make a horror film and then really put our own spin on it with what we hope is like a unique sensibilities comedically. Definitely. Okay, so um, uh, could you talk a bit about your role in the film? Yes. So I play a girl named Claire. I, I'm forgetting exactly how old she was, but I think it was 1920. Um, she. She's a tough cookie. She loves going to camp, but she's kind of has a, a hard exterior. But a, but she's a softy inside. So it was fun to play. Um, I actually haven't seen the final cut of the movie, so this is all what I think the movie my character is is happening to my character. Um, but yeah, I think she's a soft heart, hard exterior kind of girl. So um, what was like working with uh, Finn Wolfhard and Billy Burke as directors? Amazing! It was like the best, not not only filming experience I've ever had, but like the best summer ever. Top three of my life. Um, and they're the best and it felt like we weren't even making a movie. It felt like we were all just like doing what we have always dreamt of doing and it, it was just like so much fun and a lot of love in the environment. Yeah. yeah so what are some of the challenges that come with being in a horror film? I guess like God, I don't know. I guess like any film, it's some of the um, scenes are challenging, but I think it's more like the emotion of a scene can be challenging, and I guess that's in every genre. But I would say horror; it's it's almost more fun because you get to be like really expressive and kind of over the top, and you're working with a lot of props and blood. I think it like adds to the experience. And um, Midnight Madness is definitely fun because of the crowd and the cheering and yeah. such. Yeah, I've actually never been to a Midnight Madness screening, so I'm excited. So you're going to be having an interesting experience. Really? <laughs> okay, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens. Yeah. Okay, enjoy the film. Could you uh, talk a bit about your role on the film? Uh, my role in the film, I am a film bro, a classic cliche film bro that everyone loves. Um, it's a lot of fun. My role in the film, it, it's an ensemble cast. We all have our, our bits, we, what we have to do. And I think everyone does what they have to do exceptionally well. Everyone is a talent and a joy to work with. Um, I had a lot of fun. Billy and Finn really took the reins on this film. Being the young age that they are, they really just held it all and, and did it and very successfully, might I might add. And I'm, I'm impressed with the work that they did, the professionalism that they achieved today. So was this your first time working on a horror film? Uh, actually, no. I worked on uh, this this horror film called Terror Train. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, that was a lot of fun. That that was cool. Um, but this is like my first horror comedy, to be honest with you. So it's a lot of fun. Okay, thanks. Okay, so um, can you talk a bit about your role in the film? Uh, I play the mom. <laughs> That's pretty well my role. <laughs> yeah. So knows that this whole thing is a really bad idea, but I don't know why. <laughs> uh, so, um, what, what was it like with Finn Wolfhard and Billy Burke as directors? It's fantastic. They're so accomplished, and the script is so funny and so well written. I was just blown away by it. So, um, uh, was this your first time working on a horror film? It's my first time working on a horror film. I, it's probably the first horror film I've ever seen because I'm usually too scared to watch. So I'm really excited about it. Okay, so uh, enjoy the film.